Um, all right, I'm going to start with the first off of the workability plan. Now, their main goal is to ensure that we don't destroy any more um, embryonic cells for science. Well, even if their policy returning to Bush uh, passes, they will fail. Their, they will ultimately fail their goal because um, embryonic stem cell research can still be carried out in private companies. Now, under the Bush plan in 2003, there are only 10 private firms with, that are dealing with embryonic stem cells, according to the New England Journal of Medicine. And in 2004, they predicted that this will um, the number of companies will increase because the government is um, unable to do the research themselves. Now, in 2006, well, guess what? Sensor research is alive and well in a host of small companies and academic laboratories in the United States, according to Force Magazine. So, there are, um, not only did um, they continue to destroy cells, they actually, more companies actually started to do this themselves. And since there's no, um, and since there is no regulation in private companies, they were able to um, facilitate the creation of many new stem cell lines. And not only is um, this a workability claim that um, private companies will continue the research, it's also a disadvantage. Now, private companies are businesses, so every time they put in money into something, they have to make a profit. And according to a report by Neff Preet Rai, they have, they're going to defend their, um, their uh, intellectual property and the dissemination of knowledge will be slower when the cutting, most cutting edge research is done in private companies and all the research done with private funds will be out of public control. Now, do you think that the businesses are thinking of moral restraints or they're thinking of making money? They're thinking of making money because they are a business, they want to survive and they want to make a profit. Now, over, over the last decade, um, according to stem cells companies, um, there are while there are identifiable, fo identifiable focuses for areas for companies within the stem cell research, um, well, stem cell research market, the purpose of these companies often uh, vary greatly because businesses are trying to create niches within this lucrative industry. That means they're trying to find their own space within this industry where they can make the most money possible, and there and other people can't copy them. Another thing, another thing about this is going back to um, that free drive. Um, if you have federal funds um, that are helping with this research, you are able to accelerate the progress in this field because um, the federal funding means that they'll have to share their research with each other. Now, another disadvantage thing is that we're going to have to resort to adult stem cells. Now, earlier my partner um, shed a little light on what's wrong with adult stem cells. Well, I'm going to go a little further. First off, According to ExploreStemCells.com, embryonic stem cells are not capable of unlimited. Uh, embryonic stem cells are capable of unlimited division, while adult stem cells don't multiply so readily. This means that you're going to have to extract more adult stem cells in order to get the same result as embryonic stem cells. Now, the procedure of extracting these stem cells is by is actually very painful since most come from bone marrow. Now. According to the National Cancer Institute, needles are inserted through the skin over the pelvic bone, or in rare cases, the sternum, and into the bone marrow to draw the marrow out of the bone. This means they put you to sleep, they poke a needle in the side, through your skin, through all your muscles, into the, and into the bone itself. This is an extremely painful procedure, and recovery would take months. And since, um, you, and you're going to have to need more of, of these procedures in order to get the same result as of uh, embryonic stem cells. Um, all right, another disadvantage if we don't have these embryonic stem cells is people are actually going to die. Nothing's going to say that now. Currently, according to UNOS, which is um, a transplant organization, there are 113,084 people waiting for organs as of two days ago, the 26th of February. You know how many donors there were between the months of January and November of 2011? Only 12,000, which means over 100,000 people are still waiting for those organs that they're probably not going to get. And embryonic stem cells can create new organs since they don't have a purpose yet. They can grow into any organ that, they, that people need. And in uh, Medical News Today, um, they actually had an article where clinical success has spurred a project in telling growing organs for transplant from 
or transplants from patients' own stem cells. So very high clinical success in this. And recently there was, um, there was a news article where a man needed a new um, throat, and they actually grew one. I saw that in the news. I don't have that with me. But, um, so there's already success in which people are getting organs from their own stem cells. And another thing, um, according to the um, March of Dimes, 150,000 babies are born with birth defects each year in the United States. And stem cells can actually correct this, according to the technology review. So, by injecting stem cells directly into the brain, scientists have successfully reversed neural brain defects in mice whose mothers were given heroin during pregnancy. So they purposely caused the mice to, um, to give birth defects to their um, children, but that's not the point. The point is that the stem cells that they injected actually were able to solve the problem. And even um, along with that, most of the transplanted cells did not survive. So you're going to need a lot of cells in order to repair, repair um, uh, birth defects in actual adults. Since we are bigger, we have more cells. You're going to need more cells. And adult stem cells just can't do this. They can't reproduce as well. They can't reproduce as, as, into as many cells as you need. And let's see. <laughs> um, and um, and adult stem cells. Oh, adult stem cells can't grow that much after they're isolated from adult from mature adult tissues. So um, because of this, they claim that. Um, the, their main goal to um, prevent the killing of killing of embryos will fail because it still lived on in private companies. And if we did follow them, then we're going to have people dying because they don't have organs. We're going to have to use adult stem cells, which aren't, which aren't as good as embryonic stem cells. And we're leaving to people that are out to make money, not save your lives. <laughs>